Hi, my name is Ben at Bullion RV. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our pre-owned units. Do the best I can to try to point out all the things that we know are wrong with it and point out the good things as well. Um, so this year, this is a 2014 uh, Primetime Crusader 295 RST. Um, do not know what the RST stands for, but it is a nice fifth wheel. Um, so we'll start front cap up here. Uh, it's got the seam around the corner, which is the newer standard uh, style of fifth wheel cap that we see with all our new ones now. All this here, this is just dust that will be wiped off. Um, down here, same thing. At first I thought maybe this was fiberglass crack, but it's just dust. This has not been cleaned yet. So the reason I point that out is two reasons. Number one, this is gonna get cleaned. Number two is the fact that when we go inside, you'll see how clean it is, how they brought it in. And that says a lot about the previous owners. Uh, standard down below here, you got your you know storage, your battery. Um, there's a couple lights throughout it that are burned out. This one's burned out. We'll replace those bulbs, no big deal. Um, so up front here, another thing that stands out on this one, it has auto level. So press the button levels itself. Auto level on this size fifth wheel, a lot of them did not do auto level until just a couple years ago. Um, a lot of them were manual crank down jacks or just stabilizing jacks. So that right there, that is a huge value item on this. Uh, pull valves. So another thing that newer fifth wheels especially certain brands all try to do some of these pole valves on travel trailers are actually down below and you got to get on your knees to get to them to have the pole valves right here is convenience and the fact that you don't have to get down on your knees to pull a valve to dump your tanks that adds up over a long period of time um, you have your hookup station here most of your hookups all in one spot they also did i know this is a really small thing but uh no pun intended, the uh, level here, so right by the auto level, just a little convenience thing that you don't have to spend a couple bucks on and figure out where you wanna put that. Um, slide boxes, I mean, these are all solid. We're looking around, I'm looking for delamination. You know, this is a 2014, so does the fiberglass all look absolutely brand new? No, because it's not brand new, but no delamination and no cracks in the fiberglass. Those are things that we see sometimes. Um, so as we walk around, you'll notice I'm pounding and sometimes, you know, I'll look down the side here and, and probably hard, maybe you can't see it on the video, but no bubbling, there's no cracks. Uh, in fact, another thing that I always point out, look at these decals. So when we see decals, that are in very good condition. Typically either they put new decals on or it's because it was stored inside or covered. Because these decals, they crack and fade. And maybe on the other side, maybe we'll see more cracking and fading. I honestly forgot what they look like on that side. Um, but again, it's a story. When we look at this, this is a story of how it was taken care of. Uh, spare tire, to me, this looks like a brand new spare tire. Um, either sense it is in very good condition you do have a tow hitch back here that is wired already and this tow hitch when i look at these here's some of these are just bolted some are welded onto the bumper this is welded off the frame so that tells me another thing that's the right way to do it a lot of these others that we see come in are improperly uh wrongfully installed that can be dangerous but when i see things like that that means the owner had knowledge that means that he took care of it properly. Um, so next, I'm gonna do my uh, monkey crawl, get up on the roof here. So it might get a little bit uh, hairy for a while. Actually, I suppose get on, on the ladder first. All right. And, uh, thank you. All right. So it's a little dirty up here, as you can probably tell. Um, so it looks like you know, roof spot sealed right there. You know, that's not, that is a pretty standard thing, especially for something that is not brand, brand new. 
Um, so right on this side, you can see same thing, but usually those corner spots are those spots that you wanna pay close attention to. And so to see that is good because it means that somebody was up here looking at those things that do matter and are important. Again, this is dirty up here. We see that sometimes. Dirty does not mean bad. Dirty does not mean leak. That's bad, right? Leaking is bad. These seals, they look like they're in good condition. Um, definitely look like they've been here for a little bit, but I don't see anything that would point to leaking of any kind. Slide boxes on the top all look very good. These other cutouts, again, the only spots I saw back corners, and we'll look at the inside, but you know, I haven't been able to find anything in there either. Slide box on top, very similar. So, again, it's just these couple corners, but again, these to spot seal, as we call it, just kind of putting a dab in some spots, is more of a preventative precautionary item to do all right now we're gonna make our adventure down the ladder if i don't make it back at least charlie's here with me thank you all right so this here is usually there's a grill that comes with it I don't know if this one came with it. I haven't seen it anywhere, so it, sometimes those just get lost along the way. No big deal, it's just a grill. Um, you know, I'm more worried about other things, but because it's back there, I do know this, there's an LP quick connect right here. So that's always a nice feature because then you can play off of your, pull off of your uh, propane on board. You don't have to bring another propane bottle and um, bring your own grill. That's a nice feature. Again, slide boxes, firm and hard. I don't see any rippling, you know, no cracking. Again, now decals on this side, very good condition. So I would be curious to know, I know I probably won't ever know this answer unless I track down the owner, which would be weird, but um, no cracking, no fading. I would put money down that this was stored inside. Um, outside speakers, pretty standard. Um, Pass-through storage, you can see the aluminum framing. They got a little wood box here. I think they just put that there so nothing knocks into that pipe and causes any problems or damage. Sometimes these stairs can get a little bouncy. I mean, these stairs, they're very firm, no rust, right? So uh, there was a flat uh, camper that did a video on recently and it was rusty here, so then it starts to bounce. In fact, the whole bottom of this thing actually does look pretty clean with very minimal rust, which even some of our brand new ones will have rust on the frame. This is very clean. Uh, walking up into the inside here, you know, I think one thing too, uh, dry weight on this is 8,881 pounds. 888, that's a good, good sign. That's good luck right there. Um, Solid surface countertops, table and chairs. Um, these do not look like LED lights, so a little bit dimmer. You can always switch those out, that's not a big deal. Um, but this unit has not been cleaned by us. So why that's so important is because when we see something that comes in clean, when we see something that has obvious points where it's been maintained when we look on the roof. When we see units that have very minimal rust, the decals are not cracked, eventually we start adding these things up and it starts to make an obvious conclusion of how something was taken care of. Sink, it's a, it's a little double sink. Again, for a 2014 coming in like this, um, I mean, this is a very clean unit. There's units I've seen that are two years old that are bad compared to this central vac system here uh electric fireplace sound bar lots of storage around it as well if you got a light burned out we'll replace that so the two main things on this one is furniture 
number one, which the furniture around this year had this kind of ultra leather, fake leather stuff or whatever. And if you used it, it's, it wore out. So we see wear and tear right here. But again, these are a couple minor cosmetic things. When we talk structure, frame, and even price on this unit is a very, I think we're at 22.9 if I remember right. Um, if I'm wrong, then, well, I'm wrong, oh well. But uh, furnace vents, not all of them up on the floor, but at least one of them here in a main walking area to help keep it clean better. Um, so if we come on this side, the other imperfection. Now, video is really important on this one, and that's why it's nice we have this, because when you look at this, it's firm, right? So, I mean, if I really pick this, I can get this up, but you're going to have to pick it to get that up. Um, my guess would be the slide comes in right here. They must, uh, maybe they're packing up, something came out of here, got caught, made a little rip. Now, I've seen floors completely split. This here, very minor. Um, could it be fixed? Maybe, would it match? Maybe. Is it worth fixing? That's, that's opinion. It really doesn't mean much. Um, it's honestly, it's not even that noticeable. Um, but that, the couches are the main thing. So that being, let's check those back corners too. So these back corners, we did see there was on the roof, spot seal, no staining, very solid right there. Same thing, let's see here. Very solid, no staining. Just for good measure, we'll check here, no staining as well. And there's no reason for there to be any, I mean, it doesn't smell musty. Again, this smell, it's a neutral smell. It doesn't even smell like anybody's camped in this. It seems like we cleaned this very well. We haven't even touched it yet. Um, so up here you have bedroom, bathroom, multi-door entrance. A lot of folks really enjoy that. Porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Nice size shower too. Got that corner shower with that skylight, a little bit more headroom. And so when we talk half ton or lighter three quarter ton, one of the main things is, is no bed slide because then it keeps that pin weight down. This has a wardrobe slide. So this is gonna make a uh, half ton or a, a light three quarter ton a lot better. Um, you have just an open opening right here, no AC, uh, crank up antenna here. Um, it looks like they upgraded the mattress. Definitely not stock residential right there. Another added feature, um, bigger closet space there. Nice headboard. Um, here is our slide up front. Kind of a unique feature. You have this that flips up so you can keep this up. This could turn into a hanging closet or you could use it as shelving. So a hanging closet, hanging closet, drawers. Um, again, there's some more storage in here. Those are just gonna be shelving, but yeah, I mean, this unit here, uh, condition-wise, um, for a used fifth wheel, we're still going to go through it and whatnot, but for not being clean, this is how it came in. These are things to recognize for what is quality, but not just quality, things to recognize of how we look at something when we can try our best to find maybe an issue that is beyond the eyes. And this one passes all those tests. So... Let me know what you think. I'm happy to help any way I can. Again, Ben from Bullion RV. Have a great day.